Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. This is going to be part 61. I'm your host, Tom, and we are inside of the Starman base below Stonehenge. We're continuing off here, and we're actually going to enter the actual base now. Instead of just being in the, I guess, I don't know, caves, we'll call it. Now we're actually in the base, I guess. Oh, look who we have. All right, our first Starman super here. So, like most battles... I'm gonna go ahead and attack Starman Super because I don't want to hit the atomic power robot and have it blow up and then I'm sitting there forever <laughs> as my health is literally dropping down. Let's see if Pooh's gonna heal up Jeff because I could really use some health with Jeff. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. It's cold. Alright. Bazooka. Cool, Starman Super's done. Okay, he replenished his fuel supply. Alright, Pooh is just firing a beam, so that's not helpful. I need you to heal up Jeff, Pooh. Or heal up yourself. Oh my god, we're gonna be stuck in this loop forever. This battle's gonna go on forever. Literally. Alright, nope. Pooh did Pooh again. Pooh, stop doing Pooh! Alright, well. Now I'm gonna have to do that. I need that fight again with Paula and Jeff getting rehealed, so, well. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna keep in a ton of these, but this should be a one-hit kill. Nope, not because he came in. Of course. All right, I'll see you guys after this one. Well, Pooh hit level 52, and now he's got Healing Omega. Is a newly learned skill. Broken Harmonica. Okay, actually, I'm gonna want that. So let's see who doesn't need anything. Uh, you know, what? I got these beef jerkies. I could use these. Let's do that to Jeff. He's a little lower. And then actually, what else does Jeff have that we can use? He doesn't really have anything. No, he really doesn't have anything. What the heck? Well, he doesn't need to hold the eraser eraser, so... Let's give that to Paula. And then... What do I have? A couple life noodles and piggy nose. I should have gotten rid of that, honestly. It's kind of a pointless thing to have right now. Nobody's really got any good healing items. Yeah. Brain food lunch. Give that to Paula. Perfect. I don't need PP. It's, it's fine. Oh, wait. I do want this, though. <laughs> Can't forget that. It's the whole reason why I did it. And Jeff took it, which is even better. Good. I was going to say, have, my entire party is facing that way except for Ness, so <laughs> hopefully that first strike works. Jesus, 7,000 experience? Oh, he appeared out of nowhere. Well, let's see. This should be a pretty quick one. Watch me end up getting the Sword of Kings without even really trying. Just like, got a chance or something. I get it from this. That'd be hysterical. Oh, good smash hit there. That was so easy. These guys really aren't that challenging when you think about it. 13,000 experience and Jeff is level 55. This is perfect because his IQ needs to be, I think, like 55 in order to repair that harmonica thing. Alright. That should be a one hit kill. Beautiful. Perfect. I love when that happens. That should be a one-hit kill, too. This is even better. Why was this not happening when I was grinding for the Sword of Kings originally? For a second there, I thought I was going to get it, but it was just a level gain. Wow, PSI Flash Gamma? Okay, everybody's getting close to level 60. Really? That's not a first strike? Well, unfortunately, that was just a Starman. It wasn't a Starman Super, so it wouldn't have mattered anyways. What about this? Let's see what happens here. Nope. Not that one. Alright, well. We'll just continue our trek through. Ah, uh, nope. Sword of Kings that time. Just 13,000 PSI. Er, 13,000 PSI. 13,000 experience. Well, Pooh is now level 53 after that fight. That's a nice level gain. We're actually cruising through here pretty quick. I thought this would take a little longer. Jesus, this is one heck of a ladder. Holy cow. I'd be afraid to go down a ladder that freaking long. They're intimidating. Alright, well, I already have the exit mouse, so I'm not even going to bother. 
All right. Let's see. Where do I want to go? I think there's an item over here I want to get first. Of course, there's a lot of enemies in here. How did I even first strike these guys? All right. What do we got here? This is new. Oh, military octobot. Okay. Well, they're going to get attacked first because I do not want to blow up the atomic one because <laughs> then I'll die. But the splash damage is fine. That'll work. Oh, good. Pooh turned into him, so this will be even better. That way, I won't even really be taking any damage from these guys. That should kill him. Everybody's gonna attack. Oh, good. It auto carried over to him. Even better. <laughs> We're just gonna turn into this. Oh, he tried to steal something, but he failed. We're just gonna turn into this healing match, basically, at this point. Oh, wow. He went down quick. All right, here we go. I am pretty much Phil. How well, only just did Jeff. Jeff will gain a few off of that. Eh. Actually, a decent amount there. That worked out well, actually, that Jeff got that. Since he took the explosive hit. 19,000 experience for that fight? That's insane. That was a lot of enemies, though, so it doesn't make sense. All right, what do we got in here? Broken Trumpet. Okay, uh, what can I get rid of? Uh, I can't really... What the hell is Monkey's Love? Help. Gift from a monkey. It can be used during battle. I don't really know what that does. Uh, I use a PSI Caramel. I recovered zero, so that was a waste. Oh, well. Alright, well, really, Jeff should be taking all these broken whatevers. Uh, let's see... Shield killer you need. You need all these things, man. I got multi-bottle. We'll be using up one of those shortly. I'm going to use one at the boss, so that'll actually free up some space. This room isn't really that complicated. It's pretty simple. It's like a big, I don't know, angled octagon, you could call it. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm actually going to probably see you guys after this fight. Jeff and Paula both gained levels there. Actually, Paula had a back-to-back -back smash hit. That was crazy. You, I feel like I never really see that. Oh, no. Well, I had a bottle of water stolen from me, unfortunately, which, oh well. I wanted to wait and see if I can get this guy with a one hit. Just to get the experience. It's worth 7,500. Speed capsule inside. I'm actually going to take that. Wait, who could use speed? I feel like... Who's the, who's the lowest on speed right now? 47, 44, 38, 27. Alright, well... Wait, I'm the lowest. At 27? Oh, yeah. I am the lowest. Wow. Okay. I feel like that's a big thing, though, because that's probably going to... I feel like speed determines who gets to go first. So yeah, I'll definitely take that all day. I think there's one more thing for us to get down here. Yep, there is. Pixie bracelet. Okay. Actually, I think I want Paula to have that. So what can we do here? Is anybody low on um, PP? 172, 212. All right, here's what we're going to do. You're going to take a PSI Caramel Poo. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and give the Pixie Bracelet to Paula. Because I'm pretty sure she's the only one that can actually use that. And then we're going to equip it right away. Because watch this. Oh, wait. No, hold on. Look at this gain. 153. I mean, all day. So we can get rid of the diamond. Uh, where is it? Diamond band. You can go bye-bye. Okay, perfect. Now we freed up some space. Oh, it looks like we got one more battle fight until the boss. Go figure. That was nice. Pooh gained a level right there. <laughs> Even better. Actually, I had a PSI Caramel stolen from me in that battle too, which actually wasn't the worst case scenario because I, I'm so overstacked with stuff here. Actually, can I... No, I do need to keep some of these things. Okay. Alright, that's not a big deal. All right, well, I think with my battles, I'm going to have to call it quits here, and we're going to be out of time. 
even with editing them. So I will see you guys in the next part where we're going to continue through this door. I know, it's such a cliffhanger. But yeah, next time we'll continue through the door in part 62 of Earthbound. Have a great day. Talk to you later.